Hello everyone, welcome back to the Mitchells in Alaska channel. So today I thought I'd do a little walk around here and show you what our snow depth was looking like. You can see the uh, <laughs> berm here in front of the house is kind of uh, kind of grown as we've uh, you know, had to move snow around. So you can see, I don't know how high that is, but it's higher than my head. So you can see the uh, tractor there. A little bit of it you can see we haven't used it this winter we've been using the snow blowers and our groomer so haven't really needed it you see the snow there where it slides off the house how uh how deep that's getting so and around the front porch keep it shoveled off around the porch but you can see the uh <laughs> the depth of it on the roof lines where we haven't done anything with it this one here i've kind of kept it the worst of it raked off because I don't know if that will bear another snow load this winter. So hopefully be replacing it this summer, get it out of my way. So, but you can uh, see we've depleting our wood pile quite a bit. And we just have these snow berms piled up around everywhere. So clean my old pickup off this morning. We're going to have to go haul some wood tomorrow from a, from a friend of ours. So I just kind of wanted to walk around here and show how high some of these uh, these berms actually were. So I don't know if you can really size that up with me standing beside this one here, but you know, I'd say we probably got, you know, three feet of snow probably on the ground if I was guessing that in there we may have to do clean that and off one of these days it's looks like it's getting pretty heavy cleaning up beside these connexes is a, or not connexes but sheltered logics is a pain in the rear hopefully this summer we'll uh, have a couple sheds built and won't need them anymore because it sure makes blowing snow difficult you know when you don't really have a have a good place to blow it to without something being in the way so that's definitely something to keep in mind here. You strategically lay things out to uh, make it where you can have a place to move snow to. So you can see Perry's trailer there, how, how deep the snow is getting on it. I think he shoveled the top of it off once actually, but you can see our sawmill sitting there. Obviously we ain't used it. Still got our, you know, our paths that we have between each one of our cabins. And, uh, but anywhere we haven't maintained constantly, it's uh, pretty much not able to do much with it. So gonna keep our trash barrels here where we can still get to them to burn trash. But you can see the snow is definitely taller than the, than the trash barrels are. trail there it is definitely definitely getting deep like I say I don't know if you can really size it up with me standing beside it as far as how how deep it is it's up about the top of my pockets so some places like in here we, we rode our snow machines through that a lot and even rode the four-wheeler and drug the groomer through there quite a few times so that's not near as deep there, but but I would say we've you know that we've got three feet of snow probably right in that area. So Prairie's truck ain't been moved in a couple of days. Let's see how it really piles up around it. So and then going in around Prairie's cabin. <laughs> this right here, this big dome right there. That's a pile of wood we cut the other day and covered up with a tarp that was some green birch so it won't do us any good until next year so but it does look funny with this you know pathways cut through everything and the uh, snow where the snow comes off the cabins 
how deep it actually piles up. Perry's still got some wood here. You know, that's about a 20 foot long stack. It's, you know, five feet tall, so. So he's getting quite a bit of wood here yet, which he'll probably start using that here pretty quick because uh, I want to get that all used up before summertime. So now he wants to build a deck there where that's at. So you see our trail there. We haven't been down that in a while, so it's definitely filling up. I'm definitely gonna open more area up around the cabins next year. Hopefully all of them. Mine, trees isn't a problem on mine. Mine, it's a, you know, the cargo trailer and the shelter logics and, and the old woodshed. It's gonna be around mine to, uh, just to facilitate moving snow a little bit easier. So. I wish the, uh, wish the camera really showed the, you know, the uh, changes in the snow height better than it does. It's really kind of hard to really get a, a really good visual on that, but. But it's pretty deep. I know if you didn't stay after it, <laughs> you sure wouldn't be able to get through it. So, so we try to clean it up pretty pretty regular after every snow. I think we're supposed to get another six inches or so tonight. So you see here it's deeper there than Tyler's trash barrel is. And here's where we park our trailers. Two of them we really haven't had out since the snow began. And you can see that. Tyler's on a black and green trailer and then our snow machine trailer. Right there you can see how deep the, uh, the snow is on them. We got the big trailer over here which we'll need it out tomorrow. I shoveled it off again yesterday. so. I'm telling you, when you let it get it piled up like it is on the top of those, it's a bear to clean off. So, like I said, I cleaned it off there yesterday, so it won't be too bad. We got, I don't know what, we got six or eight inches last night. So, get that shoveled off there today before we get more yet. And then when we have it out this time, we probably need to uh, clean the hole up a little bit. Make it a little bit easier to get in and out of there. Tyler's pretty much got his trailer permanently parked. <laughs> it's uh, piled up around it, so Tyler's doing a little cleaning up around these steps. And... You're a mess. <laughs> so, let's say we got a good six inches last night. Yeah. Hey, hey. This was swept off yesterday. Yeah. So, you can see the berm there where Tyler's roof slides off. Did you clean off the top of your camper shell or did it melt off? I knocked it off did right you? there. Yeah. So, so you can see here how deep it's getting around Tyler's. You know, a lot of it here close gets, you know, where we have to use the snow blowers, you know, really builds it up a lot. But as you can see, it's, uh, you know, that bank right there is as high as the top of his trailer is. And then just, to, you know, the sheer the sheer walls so here's the trail here that goes back out through there again we haven't rode it down in the last couple of snows so it's gotten pretty deep so there's Tyler's out as you can see where he goes down beside it how deep the snow is there and we run back over it with a groomer which makes it all nice and smooth like you see here it's uh You don't have another slide off off his roof here for long again. I'll try to move his tree lines back, you know, at least 40 feet this summer. We can actually still have room to drive around here even after we get snow on the, on the ground. So you just 
just about need to fire up the snow blower once you scrape the car off. Keep from having a big old pile there. But, you know, snow would get up where to start covering up these solar panels. That's for sure. <laughs> you can see on top of his trailer how, how deep that snow <laughs> really is too. So. Yeah, moving, moving snow and cutting firewood. That's kind of the uh, the main winter chores here. <laughs> it is, no? <laughs> we do a, do a lot of both. So it's really not bad. I mean, it's, it's really not any worse than, you know, mowing your yard, you know, at home. So, you know, at home you have to mow your yard every week. Here we blow snow every week. So sometimes twice a week, but you know, I used to mow my yard two or three times a week when I lived in town, depending on, uh, you know, how well you wanted to keep it looking, but three times a week kept it looking pretty nice. So, so here every time we get, well, we probably don't get the snow blowers out unless we get four inches or so, anything less than that. We usually just drag the groomer around and, uh, and the groomer takes care of it. That just puts it back into, into a, uh, adds to the hard pack on the ground so but the snow is pretty man it don't ever get old looking at it only thing i hate about it is it makes it hard to get outside and you know work on something if you have to actually you know work on something i don't know what the temperature is today but i think it's supposed to be in the high 20s yeah. low 30s all week long but at least 25 right now yeah so but yeah it's it's not bad at all right now so Anyway, um, Tyler's getting ready to fix a cord here. Done, done it. Oh, he already done yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> he, uh, he got a cord going out to his outhouse for a light, and he got into it with his snow blower, chewed her in half. But we ran the cord over there before. So. We didn't make it in time before freezing, <laughs> so I couldn't bury it. So it was laid across the ground. So I, I would have it'd be in the hard pack of the snow <laughs> by now. I would have thought it would have got down in the hard pack by now, but. Apparently we've drug it up enough, come <laughs> with the groomer and stuff, and it just never got, never did stay buried. So I found it with the snow blower today. <laughs> so yeah, the snow blower. It um, uh, anything cords, ropes, anything like that, it'll just wad them up. So anyway, just thought I'd give you an update on where we were at with the uh, with all the snow, and uh, so. Thanks for watching.